hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x is equals to minus square root of x and we solve this problem for all the values of, of x and here we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extremist root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now here we move toward the solution of this problem from first method. In the first method, we need to remove the square root sign from right hand side. And for this, we just take a squaring on both of the sides. So when we take squaring on both of the sides, it will be written as in this form. This is x square is equals to here we know about that. Uh, when we take the uh, square of negative term it will becomes positive so this negative sign becomes positive and we apply the square on this square root term only okay so this two and this square root are cancelled out by each other and here we get x only and now here further in the next step we need to move uh, this x from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x square this is positive x when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here in the next step we need to take common x from uh, both of these two terms and when we take common x we get the remaining values are so from here we get x only minus from here when we take common x we get one only and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is the only one root of the given equation and from here we get the value of x is equals to plus 1 and this is the second root of the given equation and now here further in the next step uh, we need to verify that is both of these two roots are solution of given equation or both of these two roots are extraneous root. So for verification of the roots, we need to copy down given question statement here it is x is equals to minus times of square root of x and in this side we will be verify x is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify x is equals to 1. So here first we need to verify x is equals to 0 and for this we put x is equals to 0 on both of the sides and we check its behavior so it will become 0 is equals to minus times of square root of 0 and we get 0 equals to 0 because you know about that 0 be the neutral sign it does not affect the negative sign uh, does not affect any uh, on 0 okay so uh, 0 equals to 0 this shows that the value of x is equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement. And now here in the same pattern we verify x is equals to 1 and when we put x is equals to 1 on both of the sides it will be written as 1 is equals to minus times of square root of 1 and we easily get 1 is equals to minus 1. So here you see that uh, this is a not possible case okay or in other words we just say that it is not possible uh, positive 1 is equals to negative 1 okay so if these are not uh, possible uh, or not satisfied so it means that the value of x is equals to 1 is not satisfied our given question statement and we conclude about that x is equals to 1 be the uh, extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root but x is equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement and we call that x is equals to 0 be the only one solution set of the given equation and now here we again solve this problem for second method uh, and for second method we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is x is equals to minus times of square root of x so in the second method here uh, we just solve this problem with the help of uh, square root signs or with the help of a square root concept so here first we need to move this minus uh, square root of x into the left hand side and it will be written as x plus square root of x and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here further in the next step uh, we write this x 
uh, into the form of uh, product of uh, two square root terms so we write this x as square root of x multiplied by square root of x plus this is square root of x and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now here in the next step we need to take common square root of x from here and when we take common square root of x we get the remaining values are square root of x plus 1 is equal to 0 and now here we again divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write square root of x is equal to 0 and the second case is we write square root of x plus 1 is equal to 0 and further in the next step we need to take squaring on both of the sides and it will be written as square root of x square equals to 0 square and this will becomes this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here x is equals to 0 this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get the other root so here we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as square root of x is equal to minus 1 and here we need to take uh, squaring on both of the sides and it will be written as uh, a square root of x whole square equals to minus 1 whole square so this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here x is equals to this is minus 1 square and minus 1 square becomes here plus 1 so this is the second root of the given equation so you see here in the second method we again get uh, these are the two same roots but here uh, in the first method we already verify that x is equals to 0 is uh, not satisfied our given question statement uh, and uh, we call that uh, x is equals to z x is equals to 1 be the extraneous root Okay. this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and x is equals to 0 be the solution set of the given equation because it is satisfied our given question statement okay so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos